Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce project tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about user order cancellation. So let's see how can we do this. Uh, first of all, inside the user orders page, uh, let's uh, set here the color, okay? A status color like this one. If I click on this details icon, you can see here the delivered in green color, okay? So let's set here the color. So go to the project and let's open the just once I the resources directory and let's open, let's open the orders.blade.php file and inside this storage you can see here the status okay so just remove this status and enter and now go to the order details blade.php file and from here let's copy this one this if directive and simply paste here inside the std now save this file and let's check so just refresh the page okay you can see here now also change inside the admin section so let's log out log in with admin credential okay click on order here so just go to the resources directory views admin and let's open the orders uh, this one and here inside the status just remove this and paste here the this one if director now save this and refresh the page okay it's looking good now now let's log out and uh, Again, uh, log in with the user credential and inside the user order details page and uh, let's add here cancel order link. Okay, so here uh, let's create a link for uh, cancel this order. Okay, so for that, uh, first of all, let's open the user order details page okay order inside from the user folder let's open this one order details .php file and inside this file after this step uh, let's create and here the another div div and let's copy this one Close this tip okay and now add here the form and set the action and also method post close the form and inside this div just write here the another class text to write okay and inside this form just add here at the rate csrf and method put and inside the hidden field input type is equal to hidden and name is equal to order id order underscore id and value is equal to double curly bracket dollar order arrow id close this input hidden field now add at the button type is equal to submit and then class class is equal to btn btn tensor okay and then cancel order close this button now save this file now go to the user controller so just go inside the app directory http controllers and uh, from here let's open user controller and now let's create here a function so right here public function and function name order underscore 
and inside this just pass your the request dollar request and let's fetch here the uh, order dollar order is equal to model order column column find dollar request arrow order id okay and now just update here their status and cancel date so order arrow plus status is equal to cancel cancelled okay and um, order arrow cancelled underscore date is equal to carbon colon colon now okay and now order arrow save Okay, make sure I'll just import here the carbon like this. Use carbon slash carbon and also call the models. And now just return back and return back with the status. order has been cancelled okay and now save this and let's create the route for this function so go to the web.php so routes folder wave.php and inside the user the route group uh, let's create here the route method name put and uh, URI which is slash account dash order slash cancel order okay and then controller name which is user controller colon colon class and function name order cancel and uh, add here the route name user dot order dot cancel okay and now let's copy this route name okay and paste this and uh, sorry save this and now go to the order details view file and inside this action method just add here double curly bracket route and this route the user dot order dot cancel now save this Uh, one more thing uh, before cancel the order uh, let's display here the confirmation box uh, confirmation alert so for that uh, go to the layout file so just go inside the layout directory open the web app.blade.php file and here uh, first of all let's add here the switch alert so from the admin layout file let's copy this one the css and just paste inside this app.blade.php file so after this just paste here and now let's copy the sweet alert js file okay so from bottom of the page Okay, you can see here the switch alert mean.js 
so let's copy this and inside the app dot play dot php file let's paste here after this one okay now save this file now just close this and now let's open the admin uh, categories.blade.php file and from here let's copy this one and inside this order details.blade.php file after this closing in section just paste here okay and uh, here let's change here the type button and add the class cancel dash order now let's copy this class name and paste here on this button click okay and uh, just show here the message are you sure you want to cancel this order uh, two button no and yes and if yes then submit the form okay now save this and let's check so just refresh the page and you can see here the button for cancel the order okay now let's click on this button and you can see here the confirmation box are you sure you want to cancel this order if i click on no you can see here the order is not cancelled and uh, one more time just click on cancel order now just click on yes and you can see here order is cancelled okay and also let's uh, display here a uh, message so only for this table uh, let's copy from order details let's copy this one okay and uh, paste here if session has a status then just display this alert message okay refresh the page and it's already cancelled so let's cancel this one so just click on this it's already delivered so if uh, order already delivered then hide this button okay so for that inside the order details before showing this div just add here the if directive if dollar order arrow status is equal to ordered then show this button otherwise hide this so print f now save now refresh the page okay you can see no uh, uh, this order is already delivered so if i not see here the button cancel order okay now let's add new order so go to the shop page let's add product to the cart go to the card proceed to checkout okay option cancel and delivery and place an order okay order placed now go to the user orders and you can see other ordered now just view okay and now let's cancel this order yes and you can see here the message order has been cancelled successfully 
so in this way you can give the option to the user cancellation the user uh, order cancellation okay so that's all about user order cancellation so thanks for watching this video uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching